Good day, students. I am Dr. Opati Johnson Ayodele, an associate professor of educational evaluation, Faculty of Education, National Open University of Nigeria, Abuja, Nigeria. In our last discussion of week four, unit one, we went through learning outcomes. And we discuss on how you can generate learning outcomes when you are developing your OER materials. This week, we are moving on to Unit 2 on selecting learning activities. What are learning activities? These are activities designed and developed by instructors to engender effective learning among students. As certain learning activities inspire experiential learning, others give rise to conceptual thinking, while still others quicken students to engage in analytical discussion. Characteristics of effective learning activities. Learning activities must be aligned with the course outcomes so as for them to be achieved at the end of the course. It focuses on student learning, in which each teacher supports the outcomes earmarked for the lesson. Learning outcomes must have compelling purpose, must have clear and achievable objectives, and serve as a support for learning desired. It should balance the content and skill development to be acquired during the course of learner studies must support the needs of diverse learning styles. It should also be assessed when the activities is completed in order to get results that could be used for future development and application of the activities. Types of learning activities for online learning. Online learning learning activities include guided discovery learning, project or model creation, self-assessment and peer assessment, problem solving, online discussion forum, self-study, or even chatting. Applications of learning activities. You will come across a lot of learning activities that can be used in an online learning uh, classroom. Some of them are oral presentation, projects, tests or quizzes, portfolio or reflections, interviewing, gaming and web quest, learning activities and active learning. The diagram below shows a complete view and the component of active learning that is supposed to be the result of activities. The diagram shows the holistic view of active learning, which contains three parameters, experience, information and idea, reflective dialogue, and under the experience, students are able to observe, they are able to do, and carry out actual and simulated activities. And also, they come out with rich learning experiences. Under the reflective dialogue, right, we have, can use minute paper, learning portfolio, journaling about the subject and all the learning processes. And under the information and ideas, there is a need for us to seek for primary and secondary sources, assessing them in class and out of class, and of course, putting them on learning. Therefore, your learning outcomes should incorporate activities from each of the three components of active learning, provide students with direct rather than indirect learning activities. In this unit, you have learned the rudiment of learning activities in an online learning environment. You also link the learning outcomes to activities that could help to achieve them. It was emphasized 
that learning activities enable the instructors to guide learners to transform and apply content of study to real life situation with enhanced study skills. I hope this unit has helped you to identify different learning activities and formulate effective learning activities for your course. Attempt your self-assessment exercises and partake in the discussion forum. We are going to meet in the next class. Thank you and bye for now.